On a week has gone by now since Callie Van Meter was killed. Family and friends who are close to the 22 year old say that they don't know the man who strangled her, but they want him caught. Now, before she went to breaking news tonight, 10 TV's Danielle Elias traveled to Chillicothe and spent time with those close to Van Meter. They come together to pray and share memories. Her laugh will be with all memories. of us and her smile forever. Of a young woman who they all loved so dearly. I know this much. Tomorrow is never promised. Tomorrow is never promised. Because nobody would have ever expected this. Especially Callie was a wonderful friend, a great always person. Happy. Yeah, she's always Stay happy. Good. Columbus police say 22-year-old Callie Van Meter was found strangled inside this apartment. Her mother says that day she left for breakfast and never came home. I waited, waited all day for her to come home, and I knew there was something really wrong. It's been rough. It's been hard. I just don't understand how someone could do this. Callie was a very good mother, a friend, everything. There's a baby without a mother now. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm a mother. I got a two year old. Our babies were supposed to grab me best friends and meet her. We're supposed to hang out and do things together. Yeah, I'm angry. Tonight, they sing together in hopes that the accused killer will be found. It's just a shame anyone would do this to someone like her. She had a heart of gold and raise balloons to the sky in memory of their friend, daughter, and mother they lost. Callie, we love you, and these are for you. Here's for you, guys. We love, love you. you. Love, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Now, a warrant has been issued for 22-year-old Jose Sabino Solis Alvarez. Police say he lived in the East Columbus apartment where Van Meter was found strangled.